And we're back for another episode. In this episode, we're going to be unlocking Blue Mage. And as always, hello from Mifri. So we are here in Linza Laminza at 9.911. Um, and we need to talk to the zealous Yellow Jacket. So the quest is called Out of the Blue. A Yellow Jacket in need is a Yellow Jacket indeed. So you there, would you, would I be right in guessing that you're an adventurer? If so, I have a request to make. We've had reports of some charlatan uh, claiming to be a blue mage, whatever that's supposed to be. He could be a blue ass a wolf rat for all I care, but I hear he's selling so-called soul crystals to adventurers for a tidy sum. Apparently they're meant to give the holder all sorts of mystical powers, which is a load of chocobo shite according to a dozen or so dissatisfied customers. You see, spells and whatnot are not really my field of expertise, which is why I want you to help me investigate. I need you to tell me whether these crystals are the genuine article. If they turn out to be fakes, I'll arrest him on charges of fraud, and you'll receive a fair payment for your assistance. And if they, um, by some miracle, end up being uh, doing what he claims, you might be able to pick up a new uh, parlor trick or two. So are you in? So, very good. We've received word he's um, haranguing uh, passers by near Summerford Farms. I'll meet you there. Okay. Let's go. So, now, okay. So, once we get there, we will continue. Okay, so here we are. So, let's talk to the Yellow Jacket. So, you got here just in time. It looks like he's about to make his pitch. So, greetings lady and gentlemen. The name is Martin, and today I present you with a wonder of the new world. I call it Blue Magic. So, beyond the Indigo Deep live the uh, Wallachy, who have their own unique brand of spellcasting. Like black and white magic, it draws on Aether from our surroundings, but that's where the similarities end, my friends. I'm sure you'll have all seen wild creatures lashing out with fire, um, ice, and what have you. It's a form of self-defense, see? And, but it's still magic. The Wallachy discovered how to harness Aether in the same way and wield the forces of nature. So, but how, I hear you cry. It's simple. You have to attune your mind to the instincts of the beast. When a creature is driven to attack, you can see into its soul. When you overcome it in battle, you absorb some of its aether and make its power your own. So, of course, it's not as easy as picking fights with the local wildlife, but my Wallachy mentors taught me well, and now it's my turn to teach you. So behold, the power of blue magic. Nice. So by the 12, did you see that? Oh, I thought you'd be impressed. Now, before anyone asks why it's called blue magic, let me tell you. For the Wallachy, this color holds special meaning, sacred even. And seeing as uh, this ain't white or black magic, it seemed like the perfect fit. I suppose you're, all, you're also wondering what you need to become a blue mage like me. So, well, for starters, you'll be wanting one of these, a soul crystal. And don't forget a special a specifically designed outfit to help you look the part. I'll even throw in one of the spell books, personally penned 
by yours truly, containing everything you need to know about learning blue magic. I've got um, enough for all of you, but you better s snap them before it's too late. So, are you lot really that dense? Can't you see he's playing you for fools? So, drive the beast to attack, more like running um, headlong into battle with only a silly blue costume for protection. Of course, no one can claim that it's fraud when they're at the bottom of some creature's belly. So we feast on your flesh, uh, Smoothkins. Your gods cannot save you now. So all of you, stay back. Nice. <laughs> Lol. Like running away like Captain Jack Sparrow. They never stood a chance. Uh, bugger all this swords and shield nonsense. I'm giving blue magic a try. So there's definitely something fishy going on here, and the arrival of those Mamul Jar was a little too timely for my liking. Come on, let's see where he goes next. So was it all staged? I mean, Mifri is looking badass in a monk outfit, if you don't, if I don't mind me saying. <laughs> I know it's my own character, but still, I did a good job with that glamour. I actually find that on the uh, picture of it on the Eorzea collection. I would recommend that website. Anyway, so it looks like he's heading for the Morobi Dry Docks. Follow me. Okay, we should be able to teleport straight there. So let's go. Okay, let's go. So according to one of the guards, this Martin character has been sulking around the docks over the last few days. Apparently he's been begging for leftovers from the ma uh, mess hall. Considering that he's making Gil hand over fist from the gullible adventurers, this strikes me as more than a little odd. Anyway, he was last spotted making his way to the Salt Strand. Let's go. Okay, let's go. That's quite far. So guys, once we get there, we will continue. Here we are. So, just as I suspected, he's up to no good. Why else would he come all the way to a place like this? So, Martin, you say that... Uh, you would be less violent this time, but that was very violent, very violent indeed. It all adds to the realism, and you lads did a great job. Uh, your gods cannot save you now. Nice improvisation. Uh, that one bloke damn near shat himself. I think we've seen enough. So hold it right there. I'm placing you under arrest on charges of fraud.
fraud, uh, this is all a big misunderstanding. So you can't pull the wool over my eyes. The game's up. And the same goes for you two. I knew you were in cahoots from the very beginning. As for those crystals, I'm about as convinced by them as I was by your acting. Say what you will about our sales technique, but there's nothing dodgy with the merchandise. Um, I'll have you know I poured my heart and soul into those crystals, and the spell books explain how to learn the magic. It ain't my fault if the buyers can't be asked to read them. And if you're thinking about uh, clapping me in irons over the outfits, not providing enough protection, I can assure you, they were tailored especially with the needs of a Blue Major mind. I'll admit, I had to cut a few corners to keep the cost down, but still. It all boils down to whether the soul crystals are genuine or not. Um, I know it's a lot to ask, but would you try this blue magic of his? If I have to. So, come on miss, don't be shy. Once you've learnt your first spell, you'll know I ain't pulling your leg. I'll even let you borrow one of the outfits. Okay. Ooh. He looks nice. So, oh yes, very fetching. While you've been getting changed, uh, Latulja and Kahilja have been luring over a, a nice uh, cooperative baby kraken to teach you water cannon. The bait's been laid, so one should turn up any moment now. Lol. <laughs> Run away. <laughs> That's a bit um, on the big side, lads. Not to worry, all you have to do is give it a few licks with the patented blue magic focus, or stick if you prefer, and our tentacled friend will return the favour by firing possibly quite painful jets of water at you. Oh, and try not to die. <laughs> Lol. I mean, as a main tank, like, I'm used to taking a beating, but still. Impressive, after that little escapade, you should be able to fire your very own water cannon. By the by, you don't strictly speaking need to be struck by the magic you're trying to learn, but that'll probably happen whether you want it to or not. In some cases, repeatedly. As long as you're uh, the one the beast after, his power should be yours, assuming you can defeat it. Uh, you see, this is what most people don't realise about becoming a blue mage. When you start out, you're like a blank slate. It takes a fair amount of uh, reckless, uh, I mean bravery. You stare uh, these creatures down and look into their souls. Um, it's a shame that not all of my customers have your determination, but that hardly is grounds for calling me a fraud. You don't think he's telling the truth, do you? Uh, now that's settled, I'll be having my wares back if you don't mind. 
I mean, they should maybe wait until Mifri can cast Water Cannon. Okay, so let's finish. So what's this? You still don't believe me. To be honest, miss, I don't know what more I can do. Tell you what, why don't I give you a Soul Crystal outfit spellbook for free? That way, as a fully fledged blue mage, you can act as living proof of my innocence. Sound fair to you? Yeah, why not? So I've unlocked Blue Mage. So open the Blue Mage spellbook under the uh, character in the main menu to assign active actions. Blue Mage arms generally have no effect on your attributes. However, equipping armor and accessories that boost your intelligence will greatly increase the damage dealt by your offensive magic. Um, if you lose uh, Blue Mage gear, replacements can be purchased from the Calamity Salvagers, Elimdom, Laminza, Gridania and Alda. Cool. And then the next quest is our... Okay, well, when I have to just equip my Blue Mage gear. So, let me do it now. So, Blue Mage. Let's equip. And equip. Okay. Um, she's naked. That's awkward. So, let's open the coffer. And then, let's equip the rest of the set. So, um... Just so you guys know the gear that I am wearing, um, to boost my EXP gain, I'm wearing the Aetherite earring, which you get from pre-ordering Shadowbringers, because that will give a 30% EXP boost. I'm wearing the brand new ring, which you get from the Novice Network, which will increase your EXP by 30% gain. And then I also have the um, this Friendship Circlet, which you get from the Recruit of Friends system. Um, it says XP earn is increased by 20% when uh, level 25 and below. So, yeah. So that's the... Wearing all of that combined, hopefully I'll be leveling up really quickly. And you can use food as well. Okay, so let me... Um, I think I'll actually stop there and I'll, I'll do the level 1 quest in, a, in another video. So let me just quickly read this. So rather than gaining new actions by increasing in level, blue mages learn them from enemies. To acquire an ability, you must witness your foe perform a specific attack before defeating it. Um, the actions you learn are recorded in the blue magic spellbook, found under character in the main menu. Spells must be registered as active actions and set to a hotbar before they can be used. Um, you may register up to 24 spells at once, Checking the box next to a spell, you will add it to the list of active actions. And from there, you can uh, can be set to the hotbar. The Blue Magic Spellbook details attack type and aspects of each action. You can also view hints on where to acquire spells that you have yet to discover. Travel the realm and defeat a variety of enemies uh, to expand the number of spells at your disposal. Unlike most other weapons, blue mage arms generally have little effect on a character's attributes. However, the intelligence gained from armor and accessories provides a much larger increase of offensive magic uh, damage compared to other jobs. Cool. Nice. Okay, guys. So, um, we'll leave it there. We'll record the level 1 blue mage quest in uh, the next video. So... Anyway, guys, if you like that video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. You can watch a random video over there. You can watch the latest upload down there. Or you can click down here to subscribe. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.